All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to install Git. So if you go to Google and type Git, uh, you could come here to this website, and then under downloads, you could go here to choose the operating system you're using. So I'm using Windows, so I'll choose the Windows option. Um, once you download that, you're gonna run through the uh, application. And I just checked everything by default. Uh, once you're done, you could go here to your Git, you'll see this folder here, and this this should mean that you installed it uh, correctly. So if you go to git bash, this is uh, pretty much like a command window that you can open up where you could run your git commands. So to confirm that your git is working, you could type git dash dash version. So you can see that um, my git is working. But if for some reason your git is not working, you could go here to your system environmental variables and under path, you should see the program files git cmd folder should be added to the path. So go ahead and check that, okay? And another thing to make sure is sometimes if you're calling the git commands, you need to make sure that your credentials are set up properly. So under credentials manager, Windows credentials, um, you can see that I have my username and password. Okay, so this username and password will come from once you, you have to create an account in GitLab. So there's GitLab and GitHub. I'm personally using GitLab. I'll talk about some of the differences in the next video, but uh, go to the GitLab website and then create an account. Then you could enter your information here. Then uh, you should be able to actually access the remote, which is everything on Git uh, through your Git commands here. Okay, so make sure you have all of that set up. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.